The IPTV down here in Bolton at Vida Loca with former professional boxer and now Bolton's answer to Richard Branson, Danny Watson. <laughs> Danny, hey, yeah, I'm well, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. Long time no see. Yes, it's been what about 16 months, 18 months yeah. since I last interviewed yeah. you. Yeah, after me last fight. Yeah. Well, I did. I think I come down to the gym when you were getting ready for it, and uh, obviously we didn't know at the time it was going to be your last fight. Yeah. But uh, not a bad little career you had, mate. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. Eight fights undefeated. Um, like you say, what, what was it, 36? I think you had 36 rounds of boxing and you only lost two, mate. Not too bad, eh? Not too bad for an old man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, it's a weird, wasn't it? Because uh, I'll let you tell us, but how did, you, how did you get into boxing? Into boxing in mm. general, when I was probably 15, um, I went down to the Lads Club, Bolton Lads Club. And I, that's that's actually where I met Alex Matvenko. Matt, I call him Matt. It's Alex Matvenko is his yeah. name. So he that's gets where I met, yeah, that's where I met Matt. Um, we boxed together for years. Um, to be honest, it got me out of a lot of trouble boxing. You know, I mm. went to boxing to get me out fighting on the streets. I used to fight on the streets all the time, <laughs> getting trouble. So yeah, yeah you um, look like a quiet boy, mate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> do you know? Yeah. So yeah, we got it got me it got us both out of trouble. Me and Matt massively. So I massively love boxing for all that. It helps us out massively. But really? terrible duo. Um, yeah, we was. <laughs> but then about um, I'd say I stopped amateur boxing. I would have been about twenty three. I would have been when I stopped. No, maybe a bit younger. Maybe about twenty two. Wow. I stopped amateur boxing. So about thirty fights amateurs, roughly something like that. Because um, I, I met, met I met my ex. Um, we got a bit content, you know, I got, got fat. Got happy. I was, yeah, I got happy. Um, I got, like, fat, I was about 14 and a half stone then. <laughs> and I went through a really dark time, we split, we split up and went through some really dark times, so I was looking, but obviously it was either go one way or the other. <laughs> it was like, go back into drinking the way it used to be or find something else like boxing, because, to be honest, I had very, I had very little joy in my life other than work. I love work. I love business. Obviously, oh. with what what I've got here, but uh, boxing, I love boxing, and I just stopped doing that because I fell in love. And I, you know, the, so the joy was the business, and obviously. And by now, yeah. Alex was running his own professional gym. Yeah, wasn't so he? so I had six years out of boxing, um, like you know, getting busy, getting fat. So <laughs> Matt had built, it stuck to boxing because. To be fair, he loves boxing, absolutely he loves it. And that's why he's so good at what he does. That's why yeah. he's such a good coach and that's why his business is so well because he's absolutely passionate and loves he's it. Been champions yeah. now, so isn't he, it? he carried on, built a great gym. Now he's, like I said, getting champions and stuff now. So I went to Matt, like I said, split up, went to Matt and said, look, I need something to put my head into. Um, and it was, he, he, he kind of laughed at me because I was fast 14 stone. And he said, right, if you're going to do it, you have to do it properly. So we started training. And he put his gloves on quite early on, <laughs> like maybe, a, maybe probably about a week into me going back, I think, to test me and battered me, not <laughs> sent bells out of me. And I was still back the next day, like, and then we started properly, built yeah. it up and got my first pro fight, got down to from like 14 and a half stone, he got me down to about 10 and a half stone. Uh, 10 and a half stone, I think, when I first started, 10 stone six. So I was that well to it, yeah. the first few fights. Well, the first few fights were. Middleweight, like, we were like middle about, weight, weren't we? Yeah, it's like mid, like I said, I was talking to you, and you fought two of my favourite, what we call journeymen now, but in Max Maxwell, yeah. who's a, who was a real class act, and uh, William Warburton, yeah. unbelievably tough. Was tough and as well, yeah. obviously, you come through both of them, yeah. like Swine Corners. Yeah, they were they were good fights then. Never lost a round. No, I had some good fights. I think. You know, obviously, I fought a lot of journeymen because I was early on in my career. Yeah. But it was all tough, hard t challenges, and that's what it was put. But there that's for. what they're there for. Yeah, exactly. So it was good. I enjoyed it. Like I said, it was never really a career choice. I was thirty year old when I turned professional. <laughs> thirty year old, well out of shape. And I said, <laughs> I'm going to turn pro boxing professional. That was a but weird. we did it, and um, you know, like I said, eight fights undefeated. But it was never a career choice. It was always something to. Focus on, yeah, to spot occupy my mind. So I did that, you know, at the same time building this place as well. well. I think when I was interviewing you for that last fight of yours, this was in the process of being built. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I come down, I was looking, looking at the ceilings. ceilings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it was, uh, that was some tough times. I'll tell you what, they was the toughest, they was, when I first decided to turn pro, mm. I was going through, they said the toughest things you can go through in life, a moving house, I was building my own house pretty much, I ripped an house to pieces building it, 
I'd gone through a divorce, a really hard, tough divorce for me. Gone through that. I was moving house. I was building this place. And boxing and, professionally. And decided to turn professional boxing. <laughs> it was crazy. But I was absolutely exhausted. But like the focus of working hard on that has changed me massively. These yeah. last five years have massively changed me. Unbelievable change yeah. here, isn't it, mate? Right? Unbelievable. So out of the dark, really, really, really dark cloud that I was going through at the time with the divorce and what have you, obviously, the, you know, a lot of good to come from it also. You know. like, like we said about, we were talking about this place, it's like something like 18, no, 15 maybe staff in here now. Mm -hmm. So obviously a lot of people employed through that. I mean, there's only 15, but it's, it's helping 15 lives. And the new business... It's 15 that more than oh, three yeah. years ago. Exactly, yeah. So then... Um, I think the new business that I've got into, the reason why I decided to, to retire from boxing, the new business that I got offered to be a professional network marketer is now helping for hundreds and hundreds of lives. You know, mm -hmm. to, I, I want to do a coach people to build their own business. That's massively helping loads of people. So like I said, out of the dark, the dark, the dark cloud come a lot of, a so lot of good as well. well. Boxing's been a, a massive, massive part of your life really. Right, so it's changed, changed everything for me. Kept you out of trouble, 15, got you back on yeah. the straight and narrow. That was why I went back to boxing because I remember the times when I first got into boxing, it helped you know, massively the dark times I was going through then as a street fighter all the time. Ended up going to actually, actually going to prison for a little while for street fighting and boxing massively helped get me out of that and obviously same with Matt, helped Matt change his life. Yeah. So I remember that obviously when I was that young and I thought when I was going through the dark time again I thought I'd go back to boxing, which it was good. Jesus, it was tough, you know what I mean? It was tough to get back out of 14 stone into 10, but it was good. Yeah, but I mean, a bit of a bizarre, he must have thought you were crazy to come back and say, I want a box again, fair dues. Maybe white collar, maybe amateur, but professional. Yeah, I don't want to mess about. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to jump in the deep end. But to be honest, it was always something that I, I always thought I should have gone professional. Yeah. You know, but obviously I was happy with my life, so I was busy getting fat <laughs> so I, I, but I always find in the back of my mind I should have gone professional when I got the opportunity which I, what I saw as the opportunity I was like, like let's go and do it and obviously the first you person did. I'd go to was Matt because I know how good of a coach he is and like I said how good of a friend he is as well I'd like to take the opportunity to get obviously to say thanks to Matt one of the most important things to say thanks to Matt I don't say it much to him because I don't like to kiss his ass <laughs> but he is absolutely brilliant at what he does massively he is, massively so. passionate about what he does which makes him so good at what he does so that means he's just beat the guy who got a draw with the guy who just fought for the world title he's so the gym is now starting to flourish which he really deserves massively so he's got champions in there now and that that gym Elite, elite boxing gym that, uh -huh. that will um, be on the map massively in the next few years I just because so. of Matt's Jack passion Rattles, uh, and the people that work there obviously not just Matt the other no. coaches and the boxers that he's got in there great team Jack. isn't it yeah they're, they're passionate they love boxing and that that will that'll flourish that will be massive for him also thanks to you for all the interviews we've done that massively helped us when we was first turned you know the uh, interviews I love to enjoy it I you know, just chatting to you all before the it's fights. It's sold after fights from it. It's sold tickets massively, and that's what mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about it before. About it is a business. Yeah. As much as sometimes we don't like it being a business, it obviously has to be for it to survive. So selling tickets was important, and this helped massively. Mm -hmm. People supporting the videos, and then thanks to uh, Steve Wood as well. You know, Steve Wood. We were talking about Steve Wood before as well. We, uh, no, what he the puts into so boxing, bunny. yeah, oh, uh, <laughs> the oh. Jurassic so Bunny of boxing never yeah. gives up. It's good because what he puts into it, uh, uh, especially I know he's doing well now. I think he's got he's getting something. Oh, he's he deserves. World champion, yeah, he's, got his, he's got his world champion and he's getting a lot of loyalty. You know, people because he deserves it massively. What he's put in, mm -hmm. and I remember when I was boxing on the shows. Sometimes I do well sell quite a lot of tickets, but it helped him. It'd been a whole lot of time with the fight. He put money in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because then that's what that's what kind of guy he is. He'll do that for the fighters because he's passionate as well yeah, about it. Yeah, sort of calling the show. And yeah, so fair play to him, and he gets it. everything he's getting now. He deserves, and I think I'd like to say to any boxers as well that I with Steve, I think it's really important to, in your life to just have a bit of integrity and loyalty. If you're doing really well and Steve's the guy that helped you get there, people sticking with him is like, obviously we were talking about before about Tyson Fury yeah, sticking with Mick, Mick Hennessy. And it's the same with Steve, you know, Steve's done all this for the boxers and I think it's really important to have a bit of integrity, oh, a bit of loyalty that. to stand by him, you know, stick with him because that, and hopefully that's what he's getting now because of the, the amount of effort he's putting in, he deserves it massively. Camera in it, mate. Yeah, 100%, yeah, definitely. You get, what, you get out what you put in, don't you? Listen, Danny, it's been absolutely fantastic talking to you. Wonderful place here, so uh, keep up the good work. Thanks very much. Hopefully, I'll see you at some of the shows. I appreciate it, buddy.
Take care, Danny. See you later, mate. Bye. I remember going down to Spar Ricky out and I'm thinking, this is like having my first fight all over again. It was brilliant. So that's one of my favourite memories uh, that obviously that Matt put on the table for me because of his connections in boxing. So yeah, that was brilliant. Plug my own business. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's interested in building their own business alongside me, get in touch with me on Facebook, Daniel James Watson. I'm a business mentor now, so I coach people to get a little bit of extra money and so. I know you need to do go on your Facebook page and yeah, find out what it's just, all about. Just send me a message on there. But yeah, definitely for elite boxing and like I said, especially for this channel for supporting boxing in general, supporting your local fighters, and also supporting Steve Wood as well. Thanks.